Hi, I'm Tim Stevens, Digital Innovation Leader at Jazzmax. We're exploring a range of new and emerging technologies, and what I'd like to talk about today is what automation means for the design process. So design automation isn't necessarily just about automating repetitive and mundane tasks. We can actually generate not only two or three design options, but literally thousands. So this adds great value to the feasibility or bulk and location phase of a project. The design process is incredibly complex and not something that we will automate overnight. True design automation is many years away and in the near and medium term, what we'll see are design assist tools being employed by the designer for key parts of the design process. The MassMaker project is a design assist tool that we are developing that will eventually roll out to our project teams. This system will allow project teams to input specific site constraints and then generate a large number of design options. So it's a three-step process. Firstly, we're building a script in Autodesk's Dynamo. We're then pairing this with Autodesk's Project Fractal to generate hundreds or thousands of design options. We're then taking this information into a data visualization software such as Microsoft's Power BI. Here, we're narrowing down the design options so we can find the best one that we'll recommend to the client. At this point, we can say to the client, we haven't just explored half a dozen options, but we've explored every option based on the specific constraints of the project. It's incredibly powerful to integrate that level of robustness into the design process, and ultimately, clients will be getting a better quality outcome. It's early days for us on this project, so stand by on a progress update soon.